Hi, this is P and Kim. Welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to briefly introduce The Tempest by William Shakespeare. The Tempest by William Shakespeare. This is what I'm going to talk about today. First, introduction and a brief summary and a brief character analysis focusing on Ariel and Caliban, and lastly, what magic means in this play. The Tempest is a play by William Shakespeare written in 1601 to 1611 and is considered to be one of the last plays that Shakespeare wrote alone. The story is set on a remote island where the sorcerer Prospero lives with his daughter Miranda and his two servants Caliban and Ariel. The play contains music and songs that evoke the spirit of enchantment on the island. The Tempest deals with both tragic and comic themes, and these days those plays fall into the category of romance. The Tempest has been subjected to varied interpretations from those that see it as a fable of art and creation, with Prospero representing Shakespeare and Prospero's renunciation of magic signaling Shakespeare's farewell to the stage to interpretations that consider it an allegory of Europeans colonizing foreign lands. Now let's find out the very brief summary of the play. This is a tale of wizards, magic, and monsters. It takes place long ago on an island with no name. Prospero and his beautiful daughter Miranda live in a cave on the island, but they weren't born there. Twelve years ago, they were cast out to the sea in a boat full of holes. They were meant to die due to the betrayal of Prospero's brother, Antonio. It also happens that the people responsible are on a ship sailing past the island on the way home to Italy. Prospero uses magic to conjure a storm and torment the survivors of a shipwreck including the King of Naples and Prospero's treacherous brother Antonio. Prospero's slave Caliban plots to rid himself of his master but is thwarted by Prospero's spirit servant Ariel. The king's young son Ferdinand, thought to be dead, is found by Prospero's daughter Miranda, and they instantly fall in love. Their celebrations are cut short. Ariel brings all the courtiers to the cell where Prospero, renouncing his magic, reveals himself. Instead of enacting his revenge, he forgives them and accepts the return of his dukedom, and Ferdinand and Miranda are betrothed. At the end, all conflicts are resolved and the families are reunited. Prospero also fulfills his promise and frees Ariel. The play ends as all go to celebrate their reunions and Prospero asks the audience to release him from the play. Next is a brief character analysis of Ariel and Caliban. Ariel, personification of character's emotion. Ariel in the play represents character's unconsciousness about forgiveness and reconciliation. In the play, Ariel shows Prospero's desire of forgiving his enemies. Ariel also forces sinful characters to feel guilt. It exposes Alonso Company's unconscious fear and guilt upon their past sin. Ariel also personifies emotion of love. It plays role as Cupid between Miranda and Ferdinand. Also, it shows love to Caliban as well. Its severe punishment upon Caliban is another type of love. Through strict treatment, rod of love, Ariel tries to keep Caliban from carrying out evil action. Caliban, Evilness Caliban always keeps defiance attitude toward Prospero. Such defiance is represented as the nature of evil in this play. Caliban also symbolizes evil heart of Prospero. Caliban is more than just a servant of Prospero's, but also indicates his evil side. 
if we read this play as colonialism, Caliban is simply not a monster but an Icelander. In his point of view, Prospero is an invader of the island and the colonial exploiter. Therefore, Caliban owes no loyalty to Prospero. Next, let's find out the role of magic in this play. Magic. Power. Magic plays decisive role of altering impossible to possible and illusion to reality, forming play of forgiveness. Magic is a mechanism and device to realize Prospero's idea. Its power, worked by illusion and music into human nature, penetrates into the depth of conscience and invokes the regret and repentance. Magic also shows limitation in the play. Although Prospero plays magic, it is done within the order of nature without causing God's intervention. Therefore, it does not have power to actually change human nature, but it can only point out the way of which humans should proceed. Prospero, through magic, leads Antonio and Sebastian to repentance. However, he cannot truly change his inner side, and we cannot know if they had truly repented. This is all I have prepared for today, and thank you for watching all the way to the end, and see you again.